right, boys, we went ahead and added not one, not two, but all three of the Cowboy triplets that dropped today. This is the most expensive gameplay I've ever done in one video. Let's just say one of the cards is 4 million coins. Yeah, it is kind of brutal out here, but I'll show you guys all of them. We already recorded the gameplay live on our Twitch, so if you ever want to see these gameplays even earlier than you are on YouTube, go follow the Twitch because we do these live all the time, man. But other than that, let's just jump right into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMa, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. I'm going to start with the big dog of the group, the 4 million coin card himself. I think he's 3.6, 3.7 right now, which is still ridiculous. That is, I think, selling for the most consistent high price in the game, excluding like Todd Gurley earlier and JJ Watt or whatnot. But Michael Irvin is obviously insane. I don't think any card is worth 3 mil plus unless they have the most broken X Factor in the game or maybe even like the best quarterback by far because like Marshawn Lynch was like a three miller for a little bit but the, on a wide receiver is kind of tough to justify but he is uh, he's probably the best wide receiver in the game I mean, you can see on paper 99 speed he is insane everywhere statistically six foot two so he has a good height right there and he's not too tall to where he's gonna be clunky and then when we come over to abilities he gets a yak him up which I actually prefer over double me I think double me is kind of one of the most overrated things in Madden My, I wouldn't say history because it used to be good but like as of since KO era, right? But yeah, come up. You guys all know it's broken. We got to use it a little in the video as well. This is what we all saw on Deion Sanders earlier on in the year in his wide receiver card. But his abilities is what makes him even better, dude. Zero AP wide receiver apprentice is insane if you're not using Howard Master. So say for if you're using Derrick Henry or like Lamar who don't get really good AP stacks, you can get away with it now with using a guy like this, right? And then he also gets zero AP jukebox to stack with the yak him up. That is insane. He gets his, obviously, triplet cam, which I have three out of three. You can see right there, plus one COD, plus one Juke. Not really the craziest stats in the world, but it is there. And then look at the theme teams. You guys could see everything he gets. Yeah. He's nasty, man. Let's go check out the other two. Boy Aikman, I will say this is the card that I am the least excited for. And I I probably would I would probably guess too that most Cowboy theme teamers aren't the most excited, especially after they just got probably the best Dak Prescott card we've had in a long time, honestly. So uh, they do have a little bit of co quarterback controversy now. They did not change Troy Aikman's release like they did with our guy Dak. As you guys know, Troy Aikman does have one of the more slower cockback year releases in the game. He's fine, though. You'll see in this video, we still made crazy plays. He still is good all around. But if you are playing heavy blitzers, it might be rough at times. But he also is kind of a statue quarterback, 80 speed. I really feel like if you're below, like even like 88, 89 feels really, really slow in this game with how good the D linemen are. But when he come to abilities, this is where he shines. I mean, he is insane. This stack right here. Five AP boys. And I know people are probably wondering, like, why are you using Howard Master? He gets quarterback playmaker or pass lead. You guys got to remember, these are not on all game. I want to have my Howard Master on all game. So basically, these X Factors almost feel like a waste out there. I guess you could use pass lead elite, but for one AP, not worth. This is definitely the stack you want to run in the game. And then also, the non LTDs also get times too, which is actually really, really cool to see, man. And then, like I said, he gets the triplets, Kem. Let's go show you the last and probably my favorite one. Emmett Smith, and I know I'm not 70 out of 70 anymore. I am still 50, so I'm getting plus two speed. But Emmett Smith is insane. You could just look at the card art and look at the abilities he gets. Look at the X Factor, and then look at the stats. 990 sell, 99 agility. They gave him great carrying, too, and then 87 catching. Compared to Marshawn Lynch, who's known as the best running back of the game, and probably not anymore after Emmett Smith came out, he has plus 17 catching on him. And then amazing changer. I mean, he is insane across the board. A great route runner, too. 88 short running is insane for a running back. And then angry run starts starting on and then if you want to go for his discount abilities he does have energizer for zero and bruiser for one but i elected to overpay for a little bit right here with jukebox man emmett smith is personally my favorite card that came out today i think he's the best one out of the three and he's like that way cheaper than michael irvin but i'm excited to showcase them all three man we got a couple games with them a lot of rage quits today it was a fun recording okay i think this confirms we're getting ball first at least i think this confirms we're getting oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that's got to confirm it, right? I don't know about this mode. Normally, that confirms it, though. I'm spotting him seven. I'm spotting him seven. I don't care. I don't care. I'm spotting seven. It has been 20 minutes, and I have had the ball once in all my games. I am spotting him seven. I don't care, dude. Score, dude. Go. Go. Go score. Please. I don't. I have the worst luck of all time. I guess on the ball first today. This is out of it. This is getting out of hand. They don't want to see the triplets be great. Andy's. All right. I'm putting it down now, dude. Finally, we get to play on offense. Let's go, man. Big Emmett. Oh, I got a tackle battle. Did I? Did I get touched in the line of scrimmage? 
I've never been a big... I think Marshawn Lynch was, like, really good because of X-Factor, but I always feel like Marshawn doesn't move as good as other cards typically do. I don't know. Emmett usually is not the best in Madden either, but, like, he, now he, Emmett's, like, really, really good with this X-Factor. Oh, I was getting bumped crazy right there. 3.9. I already said it earlier, but, like, when I have a card like this, dude, I just... I, I'm telling you, like, I have, like, Madden coin anxiety right now. Like, I just want him off my team. Not because how good he is or how bad he is, but just because no card should be worth 4 million coins. Especially a wide receiver, bro. Especially. There's no way. Dude, I thought he was quitting, dude. I was about to say, there's like no... I'm never going to get this gameplay. The Cowboy Curse. I literally can't record right now. Oh, that's a bad stick. I got the bad juke right there. Didn't let go of Turbo. I got to run the ball a little bit more, though. Like I just got to throw out some counters, you know, throw out some little... One big Emmett Smith run is all we need in the video, and I'm okay with it. It's not happening here today. Miles Garrett's the best player of all time in NFL history. It's unfortunate, man. Uh-oh. Troy Aikman deep release. Ooh. Oh. I mean, it's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. But please tell me you guys saw that. I'm not trying to be a hater here, but I, so I think we all saw that, yeah. I don't know. I... Uh, I, I, I don't know how to defend that one. No, I literally came out for a two-point conversion because of the X-Factor, and we don't have it on. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah, Emmett's a fighter, though. We don't need it. We don't need it. Ow. Now no more freebie touchdowns. I just needed at least one possession, dude. It's been, it feels like it's been all day. Adderley. Come on. I'm rejuvenated now, dude. That was miserable. Like, just 20 minutes of not touching the ball on offense at all. That was brutal. Run this empty quad all game, I think. I might have to, like, literally put way more zones over here. Never mind. Carl Loftus and the crew. Dogs. I think Doug is – Doug and Mahomes are really just going to be the goats for a while, yeah. That's really just what it's going to be. If you're going for the AP stack, I, I just think Mahomes has got to be the guy. But if you're if you're looking for the best release, it's Doug. All right, well, this is the play call right here, boys. Fourth and forever. There's just – if, if – I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. Thank you. BDL, 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 BDL. BDL, BDL, BDL. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. I'm going for the bomb. I need to see. All right. Maybe maybe that was a very just bad deep release. I haven't even given Michael Irvin the ball yet either, but I'm looking for. I mean, it's definitely cocking back a little bit. Are you guys seeing this? Am I am I trolling? Like, is that like a normal deep release, or does it feel very slow right now? Is that just me? How'd I get Irvin? I sadly paid for him. Sadly. I think this might be too deep for a corner out, but I'm trying to figure out a way to get him involved. Oh, we're running the sideline. Oh, I had to go back because... I didn't even see my icon. I thought it was going to be an overthrow because that dude was blitzing off me. Okay. Okay. Hey, the icon was not there. It was a red bar. It was a terrible throw. Hey, Irvin, bailout. Bailout. The Rage quit bailout. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Nah, we needed that, man. We needed that. For, for four mil, I needed that. Nah, when you see that top three, that's got to be like the worst thing all the time. You know what I should have did was just ran Vanguard. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. That was like two or three right there. Oh, man. Like, there's just no reason to ever use anger. Oh. Yeah, we're done. We're retiring the counter as well. The counter is the worst play call in Madden. I try it because it looks cool when it works, but it barely works. I'll always be honest with you guys in these gameplays. I think I think Michael Irvin and Emmett are insane. I really do like Dak more than I think. Uh, I mean, you guys could see the cockbacks on literally every throw. I mean, it's doable. Like, you can use the card. I'm not saying it's like unusable. I'm just saying like compared to the big dogs. At least kind of tough. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. He's sending the dogs too now. Uh, I was waiting for B. I should have just threw it away. Why he low-key look like Henry? Who? Emmett Smith? He literally is just wearing number 22. He looks... He's so much smaller than Derek. He's got the dreads. Uh-oh. I was trying to throw it to Michael Irvin right there, man. Chris Jones. Third and 32. We convert these, though. Trust. Trust, boys. Trust. We convert these. All right. If we convert here, I don't know what to tell you. 
I don't know what to tell you. All right, dude. All right, dude. All right, dude. You know what? You let me go. Oh, I almost did it again, dude. I almost did the touchback again. No. Oh, man. I almost did the touchback again. Be trolling. Rare. I sat there for 30 minutes sniping him, and he literally got posted like maybe 15 times. That. Yamanoto. I don't know how to say that guy's name, but dog. 84 speed tight end just got dotted up by. Yeah, I might have to retire. Bijan, that's Lenny. I thought that was Bijan throwing me. That's Lenny. Um, the non LTDs get times two. The LTD gets uh times three. He threw that again. All right, Yamamoto, we're here. Well, I'm locking on. I, Yamamoto's getting locked in on now. That dude might be the best card in the game. Actually, that tight end. All right, he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. I told you I was locking you up, buddy. Oh yeah. I gotta do it once. I have to do it once. Is this a, is this a troll right here? I have to do it once. I mean, they gave him 80 speed. Plus the theme team. He's do it. It's do it. Oh, come on. Come on, man. How much did I snipe Irvin for? 3.9 mil, baby. Let's go. What a snipe. Absolutely amazing. Uh-oh. Give me enough time. There we go. Big dog. We do got Yakim up. Oh, we broke the one, man. If we got a better animation, we had a chance. Oh, come on. We need a Michael Irvin Yutter. This is what we call the super rat strat that everyone always does to me. You put your yak em up in the slot. Usually you have the X-Factor running back on, but boom. We break the tackle no matter what. That's the ultimate rat strat in Madden right there. The yak em up in the bubble screen, dude. It's the it's the it's probably the most popular thing you run into in Madden that did. Triple X-Factor, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm running it back. Or oh, tackle me there. That's fine. No, so I, I'll, I'll bring the bomb out. But we got to get one more run with Big Emmett. Oh, say it isn't so. 54,000. Jesus. Snap it. Oh, did he quit? I can't tell. I don't have no, no, he's still in. Ah, there it is. Well, let's get one more, one more. Because we're doing three gameplays. Might as well make it longer, right? We're doing three in one. All I want in life is just to run the ball with Emmett. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I swear I'm getting tackled on the first attempt every single time. Yeah, Irvin is disgusting. He is disgusting, but that's it's just so much, man. See, this is what we want to see. Oh, yeah. What is that animation? Bro, he was like, was he not gone? And then he like suction cupped me. I was gone there. I just got like, look, dude, look at the distance. And then I just get like suction cupped into that. I'm gonna run Emmett into the dirt. Running Emmett into the ground. I need to get Irvin the ball more, man. I feel I feel like I haven't done enough for him. Oh man, who just who just got back that fast? I just had a wide open Irvin, man. All right, come on, man, Michael Irvin, let's get activated. Nope, oh, I'm going here. I need to get Michael Irvin the ball. Like, it's a must at this point. Dude, hit this. The, I don't know what formations he's running, but I, he's not getting pressure, but it feels like I'm getting pressured. I like the Aik Aikman's not terrible, though. Don't get me wrong. I just think Dak was a really good card. They finally did Dak. They finally gave Dak a good card. Like, it's, it took forever, but they finally did it. And then they drop an Aikman right after, man, right in time. For the competition, of course. The quarterback competition. Mike Orvin. Mike Orvin. So we got Lamar. Sticky Icky. You don't want to do that. You want to do that, Lamar. Playoff Stroud is still really good. I mean, honestly, Stroud's ability stack's kind of like mid now when you think about it because it's 8 AP. Oh, my. Derek Carr. But, like, his, his, his release is, like, known as the second best release in the game. So I guess it's not bad. GG's. GG's again. All right, boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was an expensive gameplay, so make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, man. We are pushing 50K. I'm not going to lie to you. I think all three of the cards are definitely very good. If, I, if I'm if i going to be honest, if I'm going to put myself in the Cowboys theme team boots right now, I am definitely still sticking with Dak. I am making Emmett Smith the must-have, and if you have the coins, I guess Michael Irvin could be worth it. He is insanely expensive. One of the most expensive cards of the year. It's hard to justify it, but...
he is probably the best one in the game. I, I can't lie to you there, but hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.